Hey guys, we're back. Jones Subwoofer Solutions. Finally back from vacation. Appreciate you guys being patient with me. Took a little trip to Boston. Hung out with my buddy Early Adopted. Had some good eats over there in the New England area. So today, as you can see, we've got another Demore amp. It is the Demore E1500, which is now the biggest mono amp that uh, Tony has put out. And again, just like the last one we ran, this has his Clean D technology, which is some extra filtering uh, on the input and output side. So uh, very nice clean amp as we know it. We just haven't ran this one on the dyno yet. So drop your guesses below what you think this will do. And we'll find out today what the Demore E1500 has in it. So real quick before we hit the dyno, it does come with a tool kit. It does have a little harness for high level input, meaning that you could hook this up to a stock radio uh, factory type install uh, without using a, a separate line drop or a DSP or anything. Uh, it has a foam cord style base knob and it is a, a nice aluminum housed base knob. My only gripe is the knob itself seems kind of small. But that's kind of the trend. I, I've seen a lot of new amps these days and the knobs are just a little smaller than they used to be. So power ratings we can see here 1500 watts at 1 ohm, 950 watts at 2 ohms, and 525 watts at 4 ohms. Again, if you haven't dropped a guess, drop a guess below. Let me know what you think this will do. I'll catch you on the dyno. We'll find out. Demore E1500. All right, guys, welcome to the dyno bench. And uh, just a quick rundown how we'll do things today. We're going to start with certified runs, then we'll do uncertified, then we'll do the, the dynamic burst runs, and we'll just start 4 ohm, then 2 ohm, then 1 ohm for each uh, style of test here. So if you haven't dropped a guess, now's your chance. 4 ohm certified should do 525 watts. Let's see what she's got. Four ohms, we're at 14.93 volts starting. Try to adjust my camera, you can see that with a little less glare. Better for you guys. All right, certified four ohms, starting 14.93 volts, rated 525 watts. Here we go. The Demore 1500. And overrated, 598 watts, almost 600 watts into four ohms. And we dropped to 14.83 volts. Very solid, good, okay. Keep going to uh, two ohms now. Certified is up to 1% distortion. The dyno will stop reading once it sees 1% distortion or more. So we are testing two ohms. It's rated 950 watts. Let's see if it has 950 watts in it. We're starting at 14.9 volts. Here we go. And we did hit rated. We got 1,031 watts into two ohms. Dropped to 14.74 volts. Very, very nice. And lastly, one ohm, certified up to 1% distortion. I'm certain at this point that we will see rated power, but how much more than rated? We'll find out right now. One ohm starting at 14.89 volts, rated 1500 watts. And we got 1,565 watts into one ohm dropped to 14.58 volts. So now 
rid of this. We'll continue to uncertified rounds. Okay, uncertified rounds. And uncertified is the same as certified. Only the dyno doesn't stop reading when it sees distortion. It'll keep reading into distortion. So we will start with four ohms. Had the chargers on, I did just shut them off so we don't get too high. We're up to 14.9 uh, volts. So again, this was rated 525 watts. Let's see what it does uncertified. Here we go. We got 619 watts into 4 ohms, dropped to 14.8 volts. Very solid. Go back here, 2 ohms, uncertified, into clipping. A little lower on voltage, 14.91 volts. Here we go. And we got 1,080 watts into two ohms, dropped to 14.6 volts. Very, very solid. And finally, one ohm, uncertified, rated 1500 watts, 14.85 volts starting. So we're a little lower, here we go. All the way into clipping. And we got almost 1,700 watts into 1 ohm. 1,695 watts into 1 ohm. Dropped to 14.43 volts. Very impressive. These uh, Demore amps, uh, we're big fans of. I'm a dealer for them, and we, uh, we love the installs with these. So we're gonna continue now dynamic, which is burst test. 40 hertz pulse tone. And again, we're going to start with 4 ohms. Rated 525 watts. And we are just floating on the C-Max now. We're up to 14.97 volts now that it's rested. Chargers are off, though. So here we go. 4 ohms burst. Rated 525 watts. And just like the other tests, well overrated power. 621 watts into 4 ohms, dropping to 14.85 volts. Very solid. 2 ohms, moving on. Rated 950 watts at 2 ohms. This is the dynamic burst test. 14.9 volts starting. Here we go. Very nice dynamic power out of this. 1,091 watts into 2 ohms, dropping to 14.7 volts. And we will go back again and go into 1 ohm dynamic. We're at 14.85 volts, again a little lower for these 1 ohm runs. And here we go, burst dynamic. Way over the 1500 watts it's rated. We got 1,773 watts into one ohm, dropped to 14.5 volts. Very, very solid. And I know you guys want it, you guys ask for it every time. We did it on the other Demore amp, so I will throw this in as a, as a goodie for you guys that stuck around. We will run 0.8 ohms dynamic. We're at 14.87 volts starting. Let's see what she's got. Think it'll break 2,000 watts? I think it might. Rated 
Yes, sir. There you go. 2,031 watts into 0.8 ohms at 14.46 volts. So, quite the powerhouse for a 1,500 watt rating. Let me know what you guys think of that, and I'll catch you back on the bench in just a minute. We'll get a look inside the amp. So, I'll see you then. First, like a vibraphone, and step into my ribosomes, and sex team when she writes a poem. I roam alone with the sharks, lone sharks holding my heart. Pull me apart, I can add up the atoms. I'm sad, I'm a soul living solely to part. A rose, rose in the dark. Maybe it's fiction. I'm over that part. Pay All right, guys, we're back. Got the amp open. We get a look inside it. You can see easily those are 3300 microfarad, 100 volt caps. Pretty big caps there. Can't quite see those smaller ones. But just like the other Demor amps, very clean and organized inside. I mean, look at that. That's, that's a work of art. So let's go ahead and we can take a look at the end caps. Start on this side. You do have roughly, I'd call them 10 gauge speaker output terminals there's your power and protect light and I fit four gauge welding cable into the power and ground there was a little wiggle room but we couldn't fit one on uh, but as you saw the, the four gauge was sufficient still put out all of its power pretty sure it's just rated four gauge anyway so moving on to the other end You've got RCA inputs, and then you've got the, the high level input I was talking about. And that has an auto turn on, uh, just like a nice uh, line drop. So then you've got your level, which is your gain, phase from zero to 180 degrees, zero to 12 dB bass boost, and a subsonic filter from 10 to 50 Hertz. There's the plug for the bass remote, and low pass filter is 50 Hertz up to 250 Hertz. So clean amp. Again, I am pretty impressed by this whole series. This is something that we install in our shop. But let me know what you guys think of that. If you guys want to see more from Tony. And uh, if you guys have any other suggestions or any other thoughts. Something you guys would like me to run. Just let me know. Um, so again, I want to apologize for the little break I took. I want to thank you guys for watching. I appreciate every one of you. If you haven't subscribed, please do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you know when we post a new video. And I'll catch you next week, guys. See ya.